Y'all do me a favor, sit back, relax, and strap on your seatbelts. Cause I'm about to go in on this one. What's going on y'all? It's your favorite Auntie Momo and I am back again with another episode review of Catfish Y'all. This is season eight, episode 32, Katie and Paul, y'all. Now, before we get into this review, y'all already know how my church announcements go. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure your notification bells is turned on. All that good stuff, all that good jazz. This week's product spotlight is coming to you from Purposefully Crafty. Let me set them so y'all can see my shirt. Ooh, hello. Girlfriends, yes. Her information will be down in my description box below where you can get this shirt. You can get many, many other black girl magic shirts from her. Her line of clothing is amazing. She has some bomb prints, some bomb designs. Trust me, you will not be disappointed when you get a piece of merchandise from Purposefully Crafty. When you go to her page, make sure to let her know. Your auntie Mo sent you, okay? She, that that's my girl. It's all love. And I'm not just saying it because that's my girl. I'm saying it because that's my girl. Look here, y'all. This episode right here. <laughs> yeah. I hope, I'm, hopefully y'all are ready for this review. I'm gonna let you know right now, if you got sensitive ears, you don't wanna hear me fussing and, and, and all of that, go and click your ass off. Cause I'm about to get up and on, on up and into it and with this one right here. So hopefully y'all are ready for it. Y'all know what the hell I'm trying to say. Hopefully y'all are ready for it cause I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go and get up into it y'all. Neve and Cammy end up getting this email from this chick named Samantha, right? Now her fiance and um, her and her fiance Paul been together for the last eight years. He was talking to this chick named Katie that he met 10 years ago on Xbox. He was 16 at the time. They ended up meeting some kind of way. The day he was supposed to, they talked for two years after they met on Xbox, right? Now, he was supposed to eventually move to where Katie is. But the day that he was supposed to move out there, Katie ghosted on his ass. Ever since then, he never talked to her ass, right? Well, here recently, she ended up popping up on this nigga news feed on Facebook. She sees it on his phone. She like, oh, motherfucker, what? You got me fucked up. What is this bitch doing in your phone? Because she already know that Katie was his first love and that he never really got to find out who she was. So basically, he really, really wasn't over her, right? So when a bitch pop up on a dime, you know, Facebook, she like, okay, well, why is she on your goddamn Facebook feed? Fee, you and this bitch must be friends. What the hell you know? I don't goddamn know, right? So he claims that he reached out to her, but she said she didn't know who the hell that she was. And she didn't know who the hell he was. Now, time out. Pause. Um, fiance, Samantha, I hope you put your foot in this motherfucker ass for what is he reaching out to her for? Now, that don't make no sense. For what though? Oh, but y'all wait, the shit gets better. Now, fiance Samantha, she's reaching out to Neve and Cammy because she just basically wants to prove to this nigga, look here, I know the bitch is a catfish. Y'all was talking for two years. You never video chatted with her, never met up with her in person and she stood you up the way she did. She's a goddamn catfish. I'm here to let you know. So that's the only reason why she was calling Neve and Cammy in the first damn place, right? Now, on a side note, the reason why Paul and doggone Samantha ain't married yet is because Samantha says she has issues with marriage. I believe what it is, she already know that in the back of her mind, this nigga Paul ain't over this bitch Katie. So she don't want to go jumping down the aisle with his goddamn ass until she knows for sure that he over her ass. But then again, at the same time, you potentially setting your ass up to get your goddamn feelings hurt if she turned out to be for real, for real, and he ride off into the sunset with this bitch from, you know, Xbox days. This is my Xbox first love, bitch. He ended up running off with her ass, but you done set that that shit up. I'm just saying, I wouldn't know do shit. It's like, look here, either you're gonna be in love with that bitch, you're gonna be in love with me. You, you can have both. You can't have both, nigga. This ain't no goddamn buffet. Either you're gonna be in love with her, you're gonna find her, you're gonna figure that shit out, you're gonna be with me, you're gonna get over that bitch. That's just me. That's just how I think. That's just how I get down, though, right? So, they end up getting on a, a little Zoom thing with Paul, right? And so Paul ends up giving them the full T. Now, when Paul was explaining his love for his fiance, Sam, mind you, he been with for eight years, got three babies with. He like, yeah, she know I love a girl. You know, I love you. She know that. And she's like, yeah, I know he loves me and I know he cares about me. You know what I'm saying? No, girl. Mm -mm. Listen. Your auntie ain't here to judge nobody on that shit because, hey, ain't nobody shit perfect. Trust me. But what I am saying is, don't speak for that nigga on how he feel about you. 
That's all I'm saying. Take it from a, a, a old bitch that's married. Don't let him speak. Don't you speak for him on how he feels about you. You let that nigga speak for himself. I'm just saying that. What you eat don't make him shit. That's all I'm saying, though. So let that man speak for his goddamn self. Oh, but the minute they ended up was like, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate you being here, but we want to holler at Paul real quick. Get the real tea. You know what I'm saying? Once she left, this nigga couldn't stop talking about Katie ass. He was in love with her ass. You know what I'm saying? He was 16 when they met. She done sent this motherfucker packages. Then sent him an Xbox, an iPod, new video games before they even hit the goddamn streets. Send him all kind of shit. Done send him butt naked pictures and everything. Pictures with her face in it and all of that. But she didn't have all this money for these gadgets and gadgets and all this bullshit. But she couldn't video chat with his ass after all, all this goddamn time. Now, mind you, he is still to this day. You can tell the way he's talking and describing her. He's still in love with this damn girl. Still in love with her. Again, that's why I say Sam probably know that. And that's probably that's what stopped her from moving on and goddamn on, you know, marrying his ass. Because she already know what's up. Now, Katie claims that she has all this money because her parents died in a car wreck. And so she inherited all this life insurance money. That's how she's able to send him all this money. I was like, wow, bitch, are you are you fucking for real? So he says about six months ago, he ended up going and searching for her. Why? He ends up finding her ass on Facebook. That's when he sends a message like, what's up? What's popping, boo? I know it's been like eight, nine years. Well, what's good? What's going on? She's like, nigga, I don't know you. I ain't never talked to you before that I'm over in life. I don't fucking know you. And he was like, bitch, what? I know what your wife look like. Bitch, you know me. She was like, no, nigga, I don't know you. <laughs> Mama, I don't know this goddamn man. So now he's like, okay, well, shit. Who the hell was I talking to this whole goddamn time? Again, could be another reason why fiance Sam is like, you know what? This nigga is not over this phantom bitch who he don't even know. But again, Sam, girl, I can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't be sitting around do, but it worked out in your favor. So let me go ahead and shut up. Let me shut. Let me shut up because it ended up working out in your favor. Even Kimmy ended up investigating, right? First, they end up searching the photos. Now, the photo that they found ended up linking them to a Facebook page. And it turned out to be the current Facebook page of Katie. It was a current photo on there this past October. She got married and all of that. Then moved on with the rest of her life. So they like, okay, so, you know, if this is her current page, then what about the page that Paul had for her? Because supposedly he went looking for her and he couldn't find her on that page no more. Another thing with that Katie page that they found on Facebook, her name was spelled different. It was K-A-T-Y. I believe that's what they said. Or K-A-T-I. I don't know. It, it wasn't spelled the way that he had it, which was C-A-I-T-E-A. -E Real different, right? Um, another thing that they did, they ended up searching her full name, the C-A-I-T-E-A. Searching her full name through a Google search, they ended up finding a Reddit message thread that said, if you've been talking to Katie such and such on Xbox Call of Duty, the bitch is a catfish. Okay? That goddamn can be like, bingo, we already knew it. We knew that the bitch wasn't goddamn real. This is basically confirmation right here that she's not real because it was like all sorts of goddamn comments saying that she was, at, she was fake, she was a catfish, the bitch wasn't real. So Neve ends up getting a phone call from Katie, right? He tells her, you know, basically like, you know, you, do you know why I'm reaching out to you? She was like, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. Why tell me what you know? So he says, well, you know, we're trying to help this guy, Paul, find out this bitch he been talking to, Katie. Whoop -de -whoop, you, you know, I already know what the fuck Neve be goddamn saying. So he asked her, did you used to play Xbox back in the day? She says she did play Xbox back in the day, but she never had any relationships outside of Xbox with anybody, right? Then Neve asked her, do you know a guy named Paul? She said, she don't know no damn guy named Paul. Neve said, well, he said a couple of months ago, he tried to send you a message and you replied back so you don't know who he is. She was like, look here, I get people that send me messages all the time because there was somebody that tried to catfish a bunch of people and they used my photos. So I could have, I don't know, but I don't remember doing that, right? So... Lee was like, well, you know, um, can we video chat with you? She said she was at work and she couldn't video chat right then and there, but she was sending him a video after she got off the phone. 
Right before they got off the phone, Neve asked her about the butt naked photos and shit, right? She was like, um, because Neve said that were, you know, were you ever sending your photo, new photos to somebody that may have them, that may do this to you? She says, you know, I don't think or I don't understand why that person would do that. You know, she says she did send somebody some photos, but she doesn't, she does not think that that person would do that with the photos. Well, Neve was like, well, bitch, guess what? <laughs> That bitch did that with them photos. Little do you goddamn know. But another thing that was suspect about her goddamn ass, she hurry up and got off the phone. Because Nene was like, you know, he was basically asking her some more questions. But once she said something about them new photos, she was like, you know what, look here. I got to wrap this up at work. I got to go. I'm going to call y'all later. Bye. And hang up the phone. Something in my gut. Because, you know, I got bad guts anyway. So, me and my gut was like, bitch, that so it just didn't sit right with me. She rushed off the phone and it was real goddamn suspect. But she did end up sending them a video letting them know, like, look here. This the real Katie. K-A-T-Y, bitch. And no, I have not been talking to no goddamn Paul. My bad. Sorry for you. I don't know that goddamn man. That ain't what she said. But you know what I'm saying. Your auntie said how, I, how the hell I want to say it. They end up getting back on a Zoom call with Paul and Sam. Telling them all the tea. This nigga mad as hell. He about to go <laughs> in his garage and cry. He mad as hell. Meanwhile, Sam like this. <laughs> this nigga I told you. <laughs> Let me stop. That would've just been my goddamn ass though. But she was looking very happy. Paul was pissed. Paul was mad as hell. He was like, she knows so much about me. Like, he spilled his guts out. He got teased in school and how he had to drop out and work full time because the bitch was just, he was just going through some shit. And that wasn't even who the hell, girl. He was mad. He probably went, if he didn't go in the garage, he probably went and took a long drive and he cried. But he, he cried. He cried. So the next day, Neve ends up reaching out to Katie, see if this bitch got some OT, like what's good? Did she find out anything, right? So he ended up reaching back out to um, Paul and it's Neve, Cammie, and Paul on a damn Zoom, right? Next thing you know, they just chopping it up and Katie ends up sending Neve a text message talking about what's good, what's tea, what you find out. Neve said, bitch, I'm asking you what's tea, what's good, what you find out. Katie tells Neve, go ahead, drop the Zoom link. Neve was like, I mean, okay, we were supposed to talk yesterday, but fuck it, come on in the Zoom link. You know what I'm saying? I'm all the Mary. I'm feeling good today. I gonna drop the link. They sitting up there talking. He drops the link. Katie get on the Zoom. She like, oh, wait, hold on, y'all. We missing somebody. I'll be right back. And the bitch leave. And they all like, well, wait, well, hold on. Leave and Kimmy looking confused like, bitch, who should we missing? I make one, you make two. Three, four, right? My math is right. Who the fuck else is we missing? We sitting and we waiting. Cha. Next thing you know, another older white woman come up on the Zoom thing. She like, hello. They like, uh, who the fuck is it? Hello, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How are you? How are you doing? Who's going on? Don't nobody know what the fuck is going on. Then Katie come back and sit down. He was like, bitch, what's, what's tea? What's good? Who the hell is this? She was like, yeah, so I'm Katie. You know what I'm saying? What's good? K-A-T-Y. This my mama, Martha. Martha say, what's up? Martha said, what's up? She was like, uh. This, you know what I'm saying? This my mama, Martha. She been catfishing Paul. The whole goddamn time. He been talking to my mama. I was fucking confused. I was confused as hell. What the hell did... Katie said she found out two years ago that her mama was using her goddamn photos and shit out here catfishing motherfuckers. Mama had been doing it all the way up until about seven years ago. Katie said when she found out she was pissed as hell, she said, quite frankly, had you hit a bitch up two years ago, I'd have spilled all the tea. But eventually I had to forgive her because that's my mind. But she used me to be out here catfishing bitches 
and bitches is catfishing and they thinking it's me. She said she done had plenty of people hit her up. She done tried to explain to them what the hell it was. But mama, don't nobody believe that your mama really out here sending butt nakeds of you and it's not you. Baby. Martha says that she was lonely. Basically, she was suffering from uh, an, an, an empty nest. She divorced her husband. Mama died. Katie done moved out with her boyfriend. It ain't nobody at the house. So what else does she do but get into her daughter's Xbox account and start catfishing high school babies? These niggas still got lit balls on their balls. Half of these boys still got Similac on their goddamn back of their tongues. And you out here sending them iPods and, and Xboxes and probably candies and shit. Just on some old weird shit. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. It's fucking weird. She said she stopped it seven years ago because she's gone to therapy since then. She started this when she was in her 40s. Okay, it's 10 years ago. That baby was 16. Yes, I say that baby because I, I, I'm speaking from a mama now. This I'm I'm speaking from a mama now. I don't went from Auntie Momo to Mama Mo. Look, the shit was weird. Sixteen year old babies, you out here pretending to be a high school ch girl. This ain't even a cold part. Let me tell you what was fucking nasty. They asked her, "You felt comfortable out here sending new photos of your daughter to these young boys?" And then on top of that, how was you getting the photos, Martha? Martha said she waited till Katie went to sleep, went crept up in her bedroom like a thief in the night, stealing her photos out her daughter's phone. She would look for any new photos that her daughter had or that she was sending to her boyfriend. She would then forward them photos to her phone, would go back in her daughter's phone and delete the sent messages and got away. Bitch like she Carmen San Diego. So not only was you out here catfishing bitches, you all, you stealing butt naked photos of your daughter, man. That's nasty. I'm sorry, but it's nasty. She said she went to therapy and all of that, but ill. Bitch, ill. And supposedly the statute of, of consent age is 16 in Michigan. I don't give a damn. As a mama, I still hunt you down to this day. To this day, I still hunt you down and put my foot up your ass. This, that's just from a mama's point of view. Now, Katie even says she noticed that her mama was taking a whole lot of photos of her. And she was like, okay, you my mama. I guess that's not weird. She, that lets you know. She thought that shit was weird back in the day. Why is my mama telling me to spread it and take photos and, uh, and all of that and shit? Because she out here sending them a girl. Martha deeply apologized. Okay, whatever. They got off the little Zoom with them. You know, Katie was hurt. I was hurt for Katie. I was hurt for Katie because that's your mama. But your mama out here on some old creeper shit. Ugh. So they came and did the two-month little follow-up or whatever. Oh, hold on. Before I get to the two-month follow-up, of course, they follow up with Paul and Sam. And Sam is, you know, she feels bad because she wants the bitch to be a catfish. Yeah, but she don't want to see her man hurt. Child Paul crying all on Sam. Baby, I love you and I'll never do this to you again. And you're living my life. He's crying because he got his feelings hurt, Sam. And he realizes that he fucked up when he tried to go outside of his little old family in the first place trying to find out who this goddamn female was when all the woman you needed was setting up there inside your ass with three babies at her womb any damn way. Chai. Katie says she done moved on and, and Martha done moved on. Hopefully Martha's still in therapy, y'all. That's all I got. That's it, that's all. Ain't no more to be said about that. The shit was weird. If it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. Drop down low and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.